Hey everybody, it's I, Whovian, and I'm back. My schedule is finally over, there's more and more hecticness, it's just me and school and videos, and I'm back, and it's gonna be all good, so yeah. So this is the realest back to school advice ever. And this school advice is actually something you might not have actually heard before. You might have heard it on other videos, I'm not sure. But I actually feel like this is something that I've learned personally on my own experience. It's not just, oh, go to sleep, do your homework, eat a good breakfast, you know, go to school on time, don't skip classes, do your homework, listen. It's none of that. It's just real school advice that I've actually learned to help me a lot during my school. Or, well, my past school. Number one is the wake up rule. Now this one isn't actually like a rule, so you don't have to do it. I've just found that it helps me a lot. Now most of us, if not 100%, 99.9% .9 of us, <laughs> Uses you we use our phone for our alarm to wake us up in the morning And I honestly don't know a person who doesn't I mean even my grandparents use their phone my dad uses their phone I use my phone everyone I know uses their phone to wake up so my advice to you is okay So I have to get up around 620 630 ish I get up at 620 so I got 10 extra minutes, but I'm actually supposed to be getting up at 6 But I just I'm a procrastinator. I wait till the very last second to get up but anywho, I have to get up at 6.20. So you know what I do? I set an alarm for 6, and then I turn it off and I go back to sleep. And then I set an alarm for 6.15, I turn it off, I go back to sleep. And then I set an alarm for 6.20, and then I wake up. And somehow, if I do that, I always feel more waking up and more refreshed. It's like, if I only, if I just wake up from pure sleep, I kind of feel drowsy. And I think it's because I didn't actually, I've been awake for 20 minutes it's just that I've been getting the rest but I'm still awake like it's a thing in jig it's not like you're in deep sleep so I've actually found that helps that if you set an alarm for like 10 minutes 15 minutes and then the time that you need to wake up I find that that's really number two is actually a really really common advice but I feel like it needs to be stressed don't share don't share food, don't share pencils, don't share paper, don't share. I know it seems really mean, and I know it may seem like you're being a colossal bitch, but let me tell you, if you keep sharing everything, sooner or pretty soon you're not going to have anything to share, which is where I always end up, because I always end up sharing with everybody, and by the end of the year, I have no pencils. I counted, I have like 350 pencils. By the end of the year, those will probably all be gone if I share them. So I'm going to try to cut back on the sharing. I've only allowed a certain people to share because I know that they'll give it back to me and so it's just try not to share so much I know it seems kind of mean and rude but it honestly will help your experience in schooling and not have to be like hey can I borrow a pencil can I borrow a pencil can I borrow a pencil number three pairing up now this advice seems really stupid so just just hear me out for like two seconds please if you're a smart person pair up with a stupid person if you're a stupid person pair up with a smart person. Now let me explain before you jump on. Two smart people pair up, nobody is what I'm gonna is gonna wanna do what I call the grunge work. It's basically all the typing, all the gluing, all the cutting, all that. If like science fair, I have to cut out, I have to type up the paper, and then I have to cut it out, and then I gotta glue it on there. But to make it fancy, I gotta tape it on a piece of paper and then glue the paste paper on there. And I gotta do all this extra work. I don't feel like doing that. I'd much rather just do the experiment and then have somebody else do that. Wouldn't you, if you're, you know, a person who likes to do the smart, I'm considering myself as a smart person, even though I might now be. But wouldn't you much rather be able to just do the experiment and get it over with and not have to worry about all that extra baggage. Stupid people, you really don't want to do the experiment. It's hard. It's difficult. You don't understand it. You don't know what you're doing. So you, what you would much rather do is just the simple stupid stuff where, oh, she wrote it down. Okay, now I just got to copy and type it and then I got to cut it out and paste it on a board. I mean, wouldn't you much rather just do that, you know, not all that extra stuff? And the reason why I like doing this is because I have a friend named Cassidy and we usually do everything together if we can because she, I don't she doesn't like to do all the really complicated you know smart people stuff not saying she's stupid she just doesn't like doing that and I really don't like doing all the typing and all that extra work and she doesn't mind doing it I'm a control freak I want things done my way and I don't want her to change it but I'm open to suggestions she doesn't really care what happens as long as she gets a good grade for it smart person extra heavy work Stupid person, grunge work, stupid person gets good grade, smart person gets to be in control and still gets a good grade. I mean, it's kind of like the yin and the yang here. We're working and balancing each other. 
So, I mean, if you really want to succeed, if you're like me and controlling, but you're smart and you want things on your way and you don't want to do all that extra baggage, pair up with a stupid person. Stupid people are going to be like, yeah, let's do it. All I have to do is type stuff and cut stuff and do all that. I don't really have to do anything. And I'm still going to good, 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 oh, I'm still going to get a good grade. Just try it once and you'll see what I'm talking about. They'll do all the grunge work is what I call it. And you're going to do all the smart people work. And it's, it really balances each other out. And if you just sit there and listen and actually understand what I'm trying to tell you, you will be like, oh, that's actually not half bad. Good thinking. Number four, make a schedule. A reason why I find this one so helpful is because I'm a procrastinator. I really, really don't like doing stuff sometimes. And sometimes I want to wait till the very last second to get it done. And then when I do, it kind of turns out like crap work or either turns out magnificent. It just, it turns out as one of the two. That's usually how it works for me. So I like to know my options, you know, how long can I wait till I do this? How much time do I have till I have to do the next thing? You know, I like to have that schedule. I don't really do sports, so sports isn't a problem for me. I don't really like sports, obviously. <laughs> but I like doing, I like writing and I like the acting and I like all of that stuff. And so I like to know how much time I have to do what I want, spend time on Tumblr, look through my Instagram, and still get my homework done by the end of the night without wasting too much time. That's where a schedule can come in hand. It can show, okay, well this is the earliest you should get it done and then have a bunch of time left over, or this is the latest and then you have to crack down and crack the whip and get your crap done. That's why I like the schedule. Personally, in my opinion, if, you don't, not a, if you're not a procrastinator and you don't wait till the very last second to do stuff, you might not have to do this. But if you're like me and wait till the very last second to get stuff done, you might want to try making But don't forget to like this video and comment any suggestions that you have below because I will definitely take them in consideration. For this week, I just wanted to do the back to school video and then any suggestions I will be doing afterwards. So, that was me with my thumb up. It was just... You couldn't, so yeah, there you go. Don't forget to subscribe to my channels because I do post new videos every Wednesday, and unless it's the summertime when my schedule gets really hectic, which is why I haven't been posting. But I should be back to doing that, I'm so sorry. Don't forget to share this video because sharing is caring, and caring is unicorns, and unicorns are amazing. This is Vivian, signing out.